Hello fifth graders, welcome to lesson 3.3, .3. compare and order decimals. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to compare and order decimals to the thousands using place value. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Today's Unlock the Problem says, the table lists some of the mountains in the United States that are over two miles high. How does the height of Cloud Peak in Wyoming compare to the height of Bounty Peak in Nevada? So we look at this word, compare. Compare means that we're going to decide if one of them is bigger or smaller than the other one. So the first way that we can do this is by using place value. Using place value, we will line up the decimal points and start at the left and compare the digits in each place value until the digits are different. So, our first mountain is Cloud Peak. Cloud Peak is 2.495 or 2 and 495 thousandths. And Boundary Peak is 2.488 which is two and 488 thousandths. So if we line them up by place value, by decimal, in the first place value, they both have twos. Two is not bigger than two, so we can't compare them just on that place value, so we go to the next place value. The next place value compares the tenths. In the tenths place, they both have fours. Four is equal to four, so we can't compare them in that place value either. So we go to our next place value, the hundredths. In the hundredths, one number has a nine and one number has an eight. Nine is greater than eight. Since nine is greater than eight, we know that the whole number 2.495 is greater than 2.488. And 2.488 is less than 2.495. So we know the height of Cloud Peak is blank the height of Boundary Peak. We know that it is higher than the peak of Boundary Peak. Another way to do this is to draw a place value chart to compare. In this example, we're going to compare Cloud Peak again but now we're going to compare it to Wheeler Peak. So Cloud Peak was 2.495, but Wheeler Peak is 2.493, or 2 and 493 thousandths. So we can line them up, writing each number. So here is Cloud Peak, 2.495, and here is Wheeler Peak. 2.493. Again, we look at each place value. So in the ones, 2 is equal to 2, so we can't compare there. In the tenths, 4 is equal to 4, so we can't compare there. In the hundredths place, 9 is equal to 9, so we can't compare there. In the thousandths place, we have a 5 and a 3. We have a difference. 5 is greater than 3. So since five is greater than three, then the whole number 2.495 is greater than 2.493. And then if we switch the numbers, we switch the sign. And 2.493 is less than 2.495. So the height of Cloud Peak is taller, higher than the peak at Wheeler Peak. Let's continue our lesson with the example problem. It says, Mount Whitney in California is two and 745 thousandths miles high. Mount Rainier in Washington is two and 729 thousandths miles high. And Mount Harvard in Colorado is 2.731 miles high. Order the heights of these mountains from least, that's the smallest, to greatest. 
Which mountain has the least height? Which mountain has the greatest height? So the first thing that we want to do is to we want to line up all these numbers outside of our word problem and look at each one of them. So we see Whitney, Rainier, and Harvard all lined up right here. So it says line up the decimals. They are the same number in the ones place. Circle the tenths and compare. So in the ones place, we have one, we have two, two, and two, all the same. So now let's go to the tens place. We have seven, seven, and seven. Okay, can't compare. Go to the next one. We have four, two, and three. Okay, now we can compare a four, a three, and a two. Four is the largest, but remember, we want to go from least to smallest. So the smallest number is Rainier. So I want Rainier to be first. Next, we want the three, so that's going to be second, Harvard, and lastly, the largest number, four, Whitney. We did this compared on the hundredths places, which is actually step two, the hundredths. So we have four, two, and three. So since two is smaller than three, and three is smaller than four, we can compare these numbers in this order. The smallest one is Rainier at 2.729. The next largest is Harvard at 2.731. And the tallest of these three is Whitney at 2.745. So the mountain with the least height is Rainier. And the mountain with the greatest height is Whitney. It's your turn, fifth graders. Today's lesson activity says, name the greatest place value position where the digits differ. That's part one. And then part two says, name the greater number. So for both of these questions, you're going to use these two decimals. You have two parts, name the place value and then name which one is bigger. All this work needs to be done in your math notebook. Great job, fifth graders.